In just a few hours, state lawmakers will gavel in for the start of Florida's 2023 legislative session. Aaron Parsegian joining us this morning with a look at a number of proposals being considered and how they could impact you. Aaron, a busy couple of months ahead. Yeah, this is going to be a busy place for the next 60 days. More than 1,500 bills have been filed for consideration. And what gets done will largely be up to Republican leaders. With supermajorities in both the State House and State Senate, they can dictate what makes it to Governor DeSantis's desk. Now, we know some of what they want to get done at his urging, things like passing permitless carry, loosening requirements for imposing the death penalty, and also targeting illegal immigration. There are also a number of measures targeting education, an area the governor has made a focus in recent years and in speaking events across the nation ahead of a potential presidential run. Bills have been filed that would expand the controversial Parental Rights and Education Act to ban teaching about sexual orientation and gender identity through middle school. Another would put more money towards the state's school voucher program and overhaul higher education, eliminating college majors in gender studies and cutting diversity, equity and inclusion programs. It's important that your tax dollars are funding institutions that you can be proud of. Our institutions will be graduating students, I think, with degrees that are going to be meaningful. Democratic lawmakers, on the other hand, say many of these bills being introduced ignore real issues facing Floridians and instead further Governor DeSantis's political ambitions. Just taking Florida in absolutely the wrong direction in a very intolerant and frankly hateful direction. And we'll be following a number of these proposals as they move through the legislature over the next 60 days, as well as their impacts right here on Brightside and online at 10tampabay.com. Also today, Governor DeSantis will deliver his State of the State address, which will likely garner national attention as he highlights what he considers Florida wins and what he also wants to come out of the next 60 days. In studio, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.